I know there's a deadline. But I haven't let you down so far, have I? Right, so I'm not going to let you down this time. All right. Fine. I'll see you later then. Bye. Oh! That sounded serious. <coughs> Sandra Lloyd from the Erinsborough News. Haven't had any word from you lately, Scott. You're still going to get that project in on time, aren't you, Scott? Yes, Sandra. Doesn't come to a standstill, does she? Well, I have been sending her in bits and pieces as I get them done. But the flow has slowed, hasn't it? To a trickle in the last few days, I guess. Well, has she been very upset about it? I couldn't give a damn whether she was upset about it or not. I'll, I'll, I'll send her the rest of the articles when I'm good and ready. Scott, you want to watch your attitude? This job with the paper saved your financial net, didn't it? Mike, I know. It just doesn't seem that important to me at the moment. So what are you going to do? Chuck it all in? Put your career on the line? No, I'm not that stupid. I'm sorry if I just sanded off. It's, um, it's got nothing to do with you. It's just got a lot of things on my mind at the moment. Like trying to stop Bobby from getting engaged to Stabra. Mike, she's doing it on the rebound. It's the, wor the worst possible reason two people could get engaged. Well, I think it's time I risked a punch in the mouth. Basically, I would say it's a case of straight out jealousy, isn't it? You're in love with Poppy, but you can't have her because you're married. On the other hand, you don't want Stavros to have her either. What do you think about that little theory, huh? Pretty close to the mark. <laughs>